father sitting at home, just reading the newspaper. His little girl comes running in. She's only six. Hello, darling. Hello, daddy. You've been playing? Yeah. In the park? Yeah. With your friends? Well, until the man came along. Until the man came along? Yeah, a man came along, and he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, come over. Whatever happened, none of it was your fault, okay, darling? None of it was your fault, but tell Daddy every detail. What happened? Um, he took me behind a tree so no one could see what we were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, well, make something up. It's so selfish. I don't know what it is, but I know it's bad. I know I'm hurting somebody somewhere. There's something wrong with it. Like, I was thinking the other day that you can figure out how bad a person you are by how soon after September 11th you masturbated, like how long you waited. <laughs> and for me, it was between the two buildings going down. So I have a feeling like. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to. Otherwise, they win. That's the way I was looking at it at the time. It was a strange time. Everyone was going on about the diving for some reason. It's not even a difficult dive. It's the same diving board you get, a decent swimming baths. 9-11, that was a difficult dive. <laughs> It'd be good to see someone grab their ankles on 9-11, throwing a few turns on the way down. <laughs> nice to see someone come down with a bit of style that day. Just, just one guy surfing down on a desk. <laughs> I said that as it was happening, and it's taken 11 years to become acceptable. So this is Jesus here, right? He's a little tiny Arab Jew. <laughs> he looks like Super Mario. <laughs> now, if Jesus is this big, that means his cross was maybe, maybe that big. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I'm better than Jesus. But if I was on that little cross, my feet would be on the ground and I'd fucking live. <laughs> so what killed Jesus could not kill me, I am way more powerful. <laughs> not only would I live, but I would lift the cross out of the ground and beat up all the little Roman bastards. Apparently the Saudi Arabian Paralympic team is just thieves. <laughs> Don't fucking boot that, you cunt. What do you call a black woman who's had seven abortions? A crime fighter. <laughs> They're laughing. Poor old Jade, man. Fucking didn't like Indian people, but then hadn't heard of the concept of karma. <laughs> Chill Pachetti, you smell a curry. Well, Jade, you smell a lot fucking worse than curry now. Imagine it was. I mean, here's one. Be careful how much you drink. Remember, alcohol loosens inhibitions. So you may end up doing something you regret. Or worse. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, do I regret getting drunk and digging up the corpse of Anne Frank and fucking it on the steps of her house? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> now, don't be upset by this information. If you're indeed a dumb cunt with your dumb cunt spouse, your dumb cunt kids, your dumb cunt family, with your dumb cunt friends. Because society's very accommodating to dumb cunts. In fact, there are places where you and your dumb cunt family can go once a week and meet other dumb cunt families and you can sing songs. <laughs> and it's called the church. And they've never turned away a group of dumb cunts. The church loves dumb cunts. Doesn't like the smart, what were their constant questions? Smart are always asking questions, and that's like fucking cancer to religion.
I was raised Catholic. The thing that used to annoy me about church when I was little was all the standing up and sitting down and kneeling. I wish the priest could just pick a position and fuck me. <laughs> Any other problems? Who else has got a problem? You know, that sounds... I can say that, by the way, because I used to go out with a guy who was half black who totally broke up with me because I'm a fucking loser. And, um... <laughs> I just heard myself say that. So, I'm such a pessimist. I have the worst attitude. He's half white. And he <laughs> totally broke up with me. I would love to be gay. I tell you why, because I'm a man's man. I like men. Men like me. We like each other. I hate women. <laughs> women hate me. We hate each other. The only reason I couldn't be gay is because I could never fuck a man. Because I could never fuck something that I respect. I enjoyed the Levinson Inquiry. I liked the McCann's on there. I kept wanting them to go, could you round it up in the next 10 minutes, mate? We've left the kids over in Starbucks. <laughs> Just to show they could still have a bit of a laugh. <laughs> there is a place for McCann's jokes. It's probably here. <laughs> I'm not saying they should do them on the dictionary corner of Countdown or something. <laughs> and going into the break, I'd like to remind you that Maddie is an anagram of I'm dead. <laughs> Whoa, well, I didn't fucking kill her! <laughs> I left her with four hours air. <laughs> McCann should lighten up, shouldn't they? They're probably grandparents by now. <laughs> <laughs> 